Thank you everybody for joining us here today. We're, we're here obviously to introduce Byung-Ho Park to the Minnesota media and fans. Uh, we're joined here by Alan Nero, his, his agent. Jay Wung Han will translate today. Of course, Terry Ryan and Mike Radcliffe. Uh, just a reminder out there that if you can keep your questions uh, as simple as possible, we are working with the translator today, and uh, we'll pass wireless mics uh, following uh, Mr. Radcliffe today. But I'm going to hand it off to Terry Ryan. Thanks, Dustin. Just a quick introduction. By Young Ho Park, first base DH. He's 6'1", 220 pounds to get the record straight on his weight. I've seen various amounts. He's 29 years old, born in July, so he'll play half the year at 29. He's married. He has a 16-month-old 16, 16 son. He understands a fair amount of English, especially if we speak slow, which is very beneficial. Uh, he ended up with the Twins organization through the bidding process. All 30 clubs put in a bid. Uh, if they desired, and that uh, finalized itself on the 6th of November. We got the bid, and then we had a 30-day period to negotiate a contract. Rob Antony and Alan Nero did the negotiation, and we came to conclusion yesterday, and Byung Ho is now a twin. His history in Korea, he played with the LG Twins, Believe it or not, that must be fate in 2005, 2006, 2009, and 2010. He served his military requirement in 2007 and 8. Then he was traded at Nexon Heroes Ball Club and has been with them 2011 through 2015. <clears throat> this season he hit 343. He had 35 doubles, 54 home runs. 146 RBIs, that's just in 140 games. That's the, uh, the amount of games that they play in Korea. He led the Korean baseball organization in home runs and RBIs four years in a row. He's won gold gloves, he's won MVPs, he's been runner-up in MVP a couple times. He's been an all-star. Uh, he sees a lot of pitches, he walks a lot, he strikes out a lot. His health is good, he's got good makeup, he's a good pro. We've got a lot of history with him over there. Uh, he's athletic, of course he's gonna DH for us a majority of the time with Joe at first, but he's certainly athletic enough and has a defensive ability to go over there and play first. So we're very happy to bring him to the United States. I'm gonna let Mike Radcliffe talk a little bit about the evaluation process, and then we can open it up for questions. Thank you. We do have a long history with Byung Ho. We have a lot of contacts and observations and visuals for a long time. Uh, fortunately, we have a very diligent scout who lives in Korea, David Kim, and he started watching, monitoring, and liking Byung Ho when he was in high school. So myself, Howard Norsetter, and many others have been watching Byung Ho for over a decade now, actually. Uh, more recently, he's played in Seoul, where David Kim lives, for the Necks and Heroes. And we have a, a, a very good history of visual observations on him over his professional career, especially in the last five years. Uh, he's obviously been a very productive player over there, so we knew, we forecasted when he would be a post-eligible player. So in, in our, this situation, it's, it's somewhat unique to have a long history for this type of player, a post-eligible player from Korea, but because of our circumstances of having a scout over there, we have a lot of conviction and belief that Byung Ho is going to be able to integrate into our organization and be a very productive player. Uh, he's a confident, convicted uh, young man. He has a lot of ambition. And on top of that, through the vetting process, David Kim has a lot of contacts in Korea. We're very confident that he has really good makeup, will be an excellent teammate, and will be a, a good player for us on the field and in the community. We have a lot of conviction in this signing. Thank you, Mike and Terry. At this point, we'll open it up for questions for any of the four gentlemen at the table. Jim? Uh, microphone. Actually, for any and all of you, just what will be the most difficult part of this transition? We'll let Young Ho take it first. Uh, 
어, 일단 야구는 똑같은 야구라고 생각을 하고 있고 그리고 어, 아무래도 세계에서 가장 잘하는 선수들이 모이는 곳이 여기 메이저리그고 어, 아무래도 좋은 선수들을 상대를 하기 때문에 저도 어, 그런 준비를 잘해서 어, 뭐 생활하는 데는 어, 적응을 빨리 할 거고 야구를 빨리 더 잘할 수 있도록 네, 노력하겠습니다. Well, he... Well, he said baseball is baseball, but then he heard he knows that a lot of good players play for major league, so he's going to try his best to adjust to major league baseball. And also, besides baseball, baseball matters. Uh, living situation, he's going to try to adjust well as soon as possible. Terry, Mike, you want to? There will obviously be some transition. It's different hitting in Korea, playing in Korea, and the template is gone last year, teammate of Young Ho's for several years. It took him some time to adjust to the major league pitching, the major league level of talent that he'll be facing daily. But I don't think the transition process will be long and rigorous. I, I see him contributing next year, and I think we believe he'll get better and better over the course of his time with us. Charlie? Uh, yes. Have you faced some in Korea, faced some 95 mile an hour sinking fastballs? How did that ever happen? Uh, 사람은 어, 투수가 던지는 거에 좀 이제 스스로 반응을 하게 돼 있고 어, 앞으로도 그런 볼들을 많이 보게 되면은 어, 적응할 거라고 생각을 하고 있고 그리고. 어, 강정우 선수가 어, 일단은 몸으로 부딪혀 오면 충분히 어, 할수 있다고 했기 때문에 저도 그걸 믿고 잘 준비를 하겠습니다. Well, he will see a lot of 95 mile sinker in here in the future, in near future. So he will uh, try to react to it and he will try to adjust to it. And also he from his friend, uh, friend Kang, that uh, if we uh, play here for about a month or so, he will fill it. He will fill the major league. Questions? Mike? Young Ho, uh, hi, um. Can I get that? Okay. Um, how, had you been to the United States before? Um, if not, what uh, fascinates you? What, what are you most looking forward to seeing here or anyone you look forward to meeting here in the U.S.? Well, he came to America for several times for uh, spring training with Next Gen Heroes. And after he found out that um, Minister Twins won the bid on him for the posting, he was excited to see Joe Maurer, and it was an honor to meet him today. Dave. What are the uh, things that you've begun to do to prepare f to make the transition to the major leagues, um, maybe in the past couple of years? Nexen while he was playing with Next Gen Heroes in Korea, uh, he faced a lot of foreign, we call them foreign, pe foreign pitchers, uh, American pitchers, Latin pitchers, and he saw a lot of good movement balls. So he was trying to change a little bit of his uh, mechanism and also uh, try to adjust to their uh, fast and different type of balls. Jim? Terry, when you look at this transition forum, 
How do you expect it to play out? Do you see him opening day in the lineup? Is this a player that you feel is ready for what lies ahead, or are there contingencies should there be difficulties in the transition? Yeah, I think we've paid a lot of attention to what happened with Gong last year with Pittsburgh, Jim. And we're obviously, it's a transition for any player. It's a transition for a free agent. Whenever you bring a free agent into a new organization, there's a transition period that the environment and the spring training base and the, the crowd and the manager and the coach and staff and so forth. So it'll be some time, and we're going to take our time. We want to make sure this is a seamless transition. But I would anticipate, and, and off the, all the scouting reports that we have, this guy can swing the bat. And it's just a matter. He's strong. He uses all parts of the park. Now, he strikes out, but a lot of power hitters strike out. He does walk, so he's got a pretty good grasp. He's 29. It's not like he's 19 here. So this is a situation where we scouted, evaluated. We know the makeup. We know his history. He's been healthy. This is a good thing for us right now. We're looking for offense, and he's going to help provide some of that offense that we lost maybe with Torrey Hunter. Uh, for Terry, do you see standing pat with, with Plouffe, Sano, Park, Maurer, your young corner outfielders, or do you see somebody having to be moved? No, we're going we're gonna to stay pat with that group, Jim. We're going to move Sano to the outfield. We're going to play Plouffe at third. We're going to put uh, my young Ho at DH, and Joe's going to play first. We've got a pretty good situation here. That's some thump in our lineup that we are looking forward to seeing and how it all comes together. And we had trouble scoring runs last year, and it's apparent that we've got to get up to some of those clubs that are there have the offense and you lengthen your lineup and so forth. So we're going to go with what we've got here. Now, we certainly can tweak this ball club and roster, but uh, for the most part, the guys that you mentioned, sure, they're going to be here. Phil. Young, uh, how much have you played designated hitter uh, in your career, and will that be difficult for you, or will you be asking to play the field? He has played around 10 to 15 games as a DH in, back in Korea. And whatever that's given to him, whatever job that's given to him, he's willing to play. And he'll be ready for any position that they require to play. Jim. And how would you guys rate him as a defender if he needs to play first base? He's a three-time gold glove winner in Korea. He has good hands. He'll be able to make all the plays at first. One thing about Byung Ho, he's not just a slugger. There's 105 home runs and all those things. He's a competent base runner. He's a good fielder at first. He has a good arm to make all the throwing plays. He's a very aware player. I think a lot of that will ease some of the transition. He obviously needs to hit, have value. He knows that. We know that. But he's a good baseball player beyond that. Mark? A lot of Korean fans congratulated him, and uh, of course, next gen heroes fans uh, didn't didn't weren't happy that much, but. Um, they know the fact that uh, he's chasing his dream and he's going to try to achieve his goal in here. So they, he heard that uh, they're happy for him. Two more questions. Mike? Uh, when uh, Mr. Gong came here to the target field, he hit home runs on back-to-back -back days off very good pitchers. Did you take note of that? Did you, were you aware that he hit home runs here 
And did that have any impact on making you confident to come here, especially his second half that he had here? Uh, 우리나라 한국 한국 야구를 대표하는 선수로서 어, 좋은 길을 잘 만들어 준것 같습니다. Well, he heard from Kong that uh, Park will be able to hit uh, home runs in here and heard a lot about good things in here at Target Field. So, he he got a lot of confidence uh, from what he heard from Kong and yes, he he will play uh, his best to perform as much as Kong here. Young Ho, how much have you talked to, to Kong and, and how has he kind of helped you in making this transition and, and ideas that he might have given you? Um, well, 우리나라 투수들과는 분명히 다른 어, 뭐 빠른 볼이라든지 아니면 공의 움직임이라든지 그런 얘기들을 많이 해줬었고요. 그리고 어, 강정우 선수도 초반에는 적응하기에 좀 어려웠다고는 하지만 아무래도 어, 경기를 계속 나가고 그리고 미국에서 계속 지내다 보니까 어, 충분히 적응할 수 있다고 그런 자신감을 줬습니다. The big difference is uh, the pitchers. Um, Kang told him that there is a huge difference in the pitchers. A lot of breaking, different, different type of breaking balls and different fastball. So Kang advised him that. Uh, He's gonna. He might struggle at the first bit, but as as um, as the season goes through, he'll find it and he'll play well. Right here. 한국말로 할게요. 강 아, 박병호 선수의 메이저리 진출을 축하하는 팬들도 있었지만 또 한편으로는 한국 최고의 홈런 타자인데 홈런 타자가 받는 그 금액이 너무 좀 작은 거 아니냐 하는 또 안타까움도 있었습니다. 이 계약하는 과정에서 가장 고민하고 어, 힘들었던 부분이 무엇인지 알고 싶고요. 두 번째는 미네소타 미니폴리스로 와봤는데 얘기 듣던 것과 또 직접 와보니까 어떤 느낌이 드는지 두 가지 물어볼게요. 네, 먼저 얘기해 주세요. 먼저 얘기해 주세요. Well, um, the question was, Park is a superstar in Korea and um, he was leading home runs and he, he, he was really good in Korea. And she was saying, um, being a superstar there and coming to here with uh, this much of contract, is he satisfied or is he uh, have any question about the contract? That was the first question. And second question she had was uh, what he feels about uh, Minnesota City itself. Minnesota uh, 뭐 도전적인 그런 제시를 했다고 생각을 하고 있고 어, 저도 그 금액에 대해서 어, 만족스럽게 생각을 해서 기분 좋게 어, 사인을 할수 있었고요. 그리고 어, 뭐 날씨가 많이 춥고 뭐 눈이 많이 오는 지역이라고 얘기를 들었, 들었던 들었는데 어, 지금 현재 날씨로는 뭐 한국과 비슷한 것 같고 그리고 어, 일단은 팀에 와 보니까 정말 모든 프론트 직원들이 너무나 잘 해주시고. 어, 이런 분위기들이 너무 좋은 것 같아서 잘 적응할 수 있을 거라 생각합니다. Well, um, he knows that uh, Minister Twins uh, bid on him with a lot of amount, and he is satisfied. He is satisfied with what he got, and he feels that it's a challenge for uh, Major League. So he is satisfied with what he gets, and he he's fully satisfied with what what he is right now. And about the Minnesota, um, he heard the weather is really cold, but <laughs> Um, he felt that uh, it's not much different to Korea, Korea's weather right now. So hopefully it doesn't get too much cold from now.
정확한 의미 전달을 위해서 저도 한국말로 하겠습니다. 저는 앨런 네로 씨한테 질문이 있는데요. 네. 그 계약 내용에 대해서 미국 언론도 그렇고 한국에서도 굉장히 궁금해합니다. 그래서 이참에 그 계약과 관련된 것에 대해서 어떻게 생각하시는지 굉장히 잘한 계약이었는지 아니면 은 조금 아쉬웠는데 어떻게 뭐그 계약에 따른 솔직한 심정을 좀 말씀해 주시고요. 2년 연속 한국 선수가 이제 직행을 하는 데 있어서 두 계약을 다 추진을 하셨습니다. 그래서 파이리츠와 또는 트윈스 그두 구단 간 이렇게 계약하면서 공통점 또는 차이점이 어떤 게 있었는지. Well, this is question to you. Um, he, well, he wants your honest opinion about the contract that uh, Park and Minister Twins has and what you felt about it. And second question was, you brought the two different deal, Kang and Park deal, and how you felt about the difference between Minister Twins and Pittsburgh Pirates. Well, first of all. Can you hear me? Now, first of all, you have to understand there's a system. Um, we have, uh, if, if, if Park was Cuban, he would have to defect from his country, leave his family behind, um, make tremendous sacrifices, spend another year and a half uh, getting citizenship somewhere else to come here as a free agent. Um, Park is Korean, and we have two wonderful countries that agree with each other. We have an agreement between the two commissioner's offices, and there's a system, and the system is posting. And so to make any comparison about compensation or contract is really quite unfair. Um, uh, you know, the Minnesota Twins have committed $26 million between the post and the salary. Um, we're excited about the opportunity. Uh, within the system, everyone has been treated very fairly, and we need to kind of put that behind us. Um, uh, that being said, uh, the Pittsburgh Pirates, uh, we learned a lot with the Kong deal. Um, we've been doing this working internationally for a long, long time, uh, our agency, Octagon, and we're very excited about this opportunity for Byung-ho. Um, and between the cooperation that we're getting from the Twins and, uh, and what we expect to do, we're, we're really anticipating him to have a, a tremendous amount of success and this transition to be much shorter than it has been for others. We see him, uh, you know, right away adjusting, and uh, we're very, very excited about the opportunity. And congratulations to the Twins that they had enough confidence in him to, to uh, commit this kind of money, and we're just very excited about the, about the deal. Poor Byung Ho. Uh, how much were you aware that the Twins had been scouting you for over a decade now, and, and what was your interaction been like with them over the years? He knew that a lot of teams came to watch him in, back in Korea, and uh, he knew that uh, Minister Twins was one of them. So he was always trying to hit, do his best and perform best at his level. I want to conclude the question and answer session. I want to thank Byung-ho Park. Nice job. Thank you. Uh, all, all these gentlemen will be available for one-on-ones following the press conference. But before we do that, I want to invite Terry Ryan and Byung-ho Park in front of the table for a handshake and photo.